This is a Pokemon card, a trading card loved by millions of Pokemon fans around the world. And this is an iPad mini, Apple's smallest iPad that is actually more powerful than most people know. In this video, we're going to recreate a Pokemon card using code. I will try to make the digital card look as close as possible to the real one. And to make this challenge even more fun, instead of using a Mac that most people use for coding, I will use this tiny little iPad. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Now let's unbox our Pokemon cards. So my Pokemon cards are now neatly organized and I organize them by color in this case. And I think I found some pretty unique and rare uh, cards. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pick a Pokemon card to recreate using SwiftUI on iPad. And what I'm looking for is a card that has a lot of visual interest and some complexity to make it a really interesting challenge to recreate. And I think the card that I'm gonna pick is the Charizard. As you can see, it is very detailed. It's also a holographic uh, Pokemon card. So this will be very interesting to recreate. Okay, now that we have picked our card, we are ready to start coding. Let's set up our workspace. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is create the card layout and there's a yellow border or a backing with then on top of that a red uh, a background as we can see over here. And so I'm shaping the card to give it a general layout. I'm also adding a white placeholder for where the Pokemon will be. And next I'm gonna work on the heading so we can see Charizard, HB, and 170. And it's really just finagling the, the, you know, the values and, and aligning things, changing the color. Um, but yeah, we're seeing great progress so far. Next, we're gonna work on the Pokemon information and the, its abilities and skills. And so what you can see here is I'm adding a skill called Burn Brightly, and that will have a description that I'm formatting you know, in a similar fashion that we can see on our Pokemon card. And then next, what I'm gonna work on is its attack skills. So we can see four symbols that I'm gonna add over here, uh, where we have two fire and two normal, which is a star and then we have a flare blitz, so that's the name of this, this skill. And again, we're gonna have a description uh, below the attack, and we're gonna format this. Now, you may see that I sometimes remove code and then re-add it. This is for organization to make our code uh, more legible and, and more organized, and so that's what, what's happening over here. Um, I'm, I'm doing some additional formatting, um, and what I'm doing next is I'm gonna actually gonna use Procreate to create a custom red background, because if we look at our Pokemon card, we see there's like some yellow strokes and almost some like, bokeh balls. Um, in the background just to make the text uh, pop from the card. And so I'm using that uh, image to essentially add it to our card to make it more realistic. I'm so excited about the progress that we've made. So just to remind you, this is the card. This is what the card looks like, the Charizard card. Um, and for SwiftUI, this is what we have created on our iPad so far. Now I don't have the Pokemon in there yet, but the card already looks really awesome. We are now in the home stretch, so I'm gonna add the background to the Pokemon card, and as you can see, the, our real card has some type of holographic shimmer to it, and I'm, so I'm using the shiny uh, Swift package to add a iridescent effect to the background. And then finally, I add Charizard. And that's it, we're done recreating the Pokemon card. Now, I wanna say before I reveal the final result, this was a really fun challenge, and. I'm actually surprised at how powerful this iPad mini actually is. You know, when we think of iPads, we think of, you know, reading email or ebooks or maybe watching YouTube videos, but you can actually write Swift code on an iPad and recreate a really awesome Pokemon card. Now, without any further ado, let's see the final result. I'm actually really happy with the final result and I honestly didn't think I would be able to make it look this good. Now, if you're a coder and you'd like to have access to the Swift UI code, I'll have it available on Patreon, link in the description. Thank you for watching and until the next time, bye.